The data screens used to process material master records can be subdivided into the following types. Main data. These are the screens for the individual user departments, such as basic data, materials planning, and so on. Additional data. On these screens, you find additional information, such as alternative units of measure, material short descriptions, and consumption values. The data, maintained within a view, may be valid for different organizational levels.
Like the material type, the industry sector also has a control function. When you create a material master record, the industry sector determines the following. Which screens are displayed, and in which sequence? Which industry-specific fields are displayed on each screen? The industry sector you assigned, when creating a material master record, cannot be changed later. In customizing, you can define new industry sectors to modify screen and field selection according to your company-specific requirement. Some material data is valid for all organizational levels, while some is valid for certain levels only. For example, a distinction is made for the following levels. Client level. This level contains the data applicable to all individual group companies, all plants, and all warehouses, or stores, belonging to an enterprise, that is corporate group. Examples of material data that is valid client-wide are the goods group, the short text of a material, and the base unit of measure. The purchase order text is also maintained on the client level. Plant level. This level contains the data relevant to a specific plant. A lot of data, specific to purchasing, the inventory management, and the material valuation, is stored at this level. Examples of this data are the purchasing group, the purchase order unit of measure, information for shelf life of the material, and the price control. Storage location level. All data that is valid for a particular storage location is stored at this level, for example, the storage bin. The material master record is a company's central source of material specific data. It is used in all areas of logistics. The integration of all material data in a single database object eliminates the problem of data redundancy. All areas, such as purchasing, inventory management, materials planning, and invoice verification, can jointly use the stored data. The data stored in the material master is required for many activities, including the following. Purchasing data for ordering purposes. Inventory management data for posting goods movements and physical inventory management. Accounting data for material valuation. Materials planning data for material requirements planning. Various departments within a company work with material data and each department stores different information relating to a material. Therefore, the data in the material master record is sorted When creating a new material master record, you must choose a material type and an industry sector to which to assign the material. Materials with the same properties are assigned to the same material type. Examples of material types are all materials, semi-finished products, and finished products. Among other things, the material type controls the type of number assignment, whether internal or external, the permissible number range intervals, which user department specific is proposed for entry in views. Which procurement type is allowed for a material, that is, whether the material is produced in-house, procured externally, or both. Along with the plant, the material type controls whether the stock is to be managed on a quantity, an, or value basis. The price control procedure set in the material master record determines the value used to evaluate the goods receipt of a material and how price variances resulting from goods receipt or invoice receipt are handled. Material valuation can be carried out according to the standard price, that is S price, or the moving average price, that is V price. Standard price, price control S. When you evaluate with the standard price or price control S, all inventory posting is carried out at the standard price defined in the material master record. If a goods receipt or invoice receipt contains a price that differs from the standard price, this difference is posted to a price difference account. The variance is not taken into account in stock valuation. Moving average price, price control V. When you evaluate with a moving average price or map, 
all goods receipts for PO, are valuated with the purchase order price, other goods movements are posted, with the current moving average price, a difference between the purchase order price, and the invoice price, is posted directly to the relevant stock account, if there is sufficient stock coverage. This changes the value of the stock, and the moving average price of the material. The price in the material master, is adjusted to the purchase price. The system automatically calculates the moving average price as follows. Total stock value, divided by total stock quantity, equals to moving The figure clarifies both valuation procedures in a simple example. Material, moving average price 20 euros. The goods receipt for a purchase order of 10 pieces at 25 euros, is valuated with a procurement price of 25 euros. An amount of 10 at 25 euros, equals 250 euros, is posted to the stock account. The offsetting entry for the same amount, is posted to the GRIR clearing account. Material, standard price 20 euros. The goods receipt quantity, must be evaluated with the standard price. The result of the goods receipt, for the purchase order of 10 pieces, is an amount of 10 at 20 euros, equals 200 euros. This amount is posted to the stock account. The difference of 50 euros from the actual procurement value, that is 10 at 25 euros, equals 250 euros, is posted to a price differences expense account. The offsetting entry, with an amount of 10 at 25 euros, equals 250 euros, is posted to the GR, IR clearing. Thank you.